But see, the difference, Nadia, listening mm. to your story, which is so interesting, I kind of see it from the other side because, because I'm, uh, I'm divorced, so my children go off to their dads. Mm. And so I, all I can do is hope that the house they go to with their dad's new wife or partner, whatever, that they're treated with, with love and, and they're, they're welcome. So help? I do the same with the, the yeah. children coming into my house. But, but do you see what I mean? But you also hope that when your children go to their step-parent, yeah. that their step-parent makes extra allowances because it's a difficult situation for a child to go into yeah. to their dad with a new person, with other children. Yeah. So you want them to overcompensate. I mean, I'm quite lucky in that, like, Finley, for example, uh, his dad and, and his wife, they've been together since Finley was two. And Finley's now 15. So she's been part of Finley's life since he can't even remember. And she embraced him as a toddler and still embraces him as a... She's, mm. they've, she's been part of his life yeah, growing yeah. up. Um, I Does think, she tell him off? Uh, yes, yeah, and, and yeah. quite right. See, but the, the difference is we... The thought we of my actually, kids having a, a step -mom, I'd find it really difficult. But we, mm. we talk together mm. and we deal with things together. And OK, it might be over email because people are working or doing whatever, but we have... We 100% our interest is to make sure that the kids come first. Mm -hmm. you, you are biting your tongue sometimes. You are holding mm. things back sometimes because it's for the greater good. And you don't always necessarily gel. But what comes first is the kids. Mm -hmm. And See, I think I really as long as they feel secure... It.